let's talk about that really quickly because we've heard in the news how Japan has stockpiled potassium iodide. There's a run on potassium iodide in our country. But how does potassium iodide protect you from thyroid cancer? The way it protects you from thyroid cancer is it, it's, it, it prevents your thyroid from absorbing radioactive I-131. So the thyroid gland is always looking for any, any, any iodine that's out there. And in, in the fallout of a nuclear event like this, there's a lot of I-131. So it gets inhaled or ingested into the body, into the bloodstream, and then the thyroid gland would naturally pick it up. So by taking the potassium iodide in a setting, not like right now at all, it's not advocated right now, we don't think that it's needed at all in this country. But when it is needed, um, you, you take that, and what it does is it kind of floods your thyroid gland with natural iodine so that it's saturated and it won't absorb the radioactive iodine so it can mitigate those effects. And, and I, more, I want to clarify, no too. one, right. important for kids, but right now in America, in this right. country, yeah. all the experts are saying we don't need potassium iodide. The not risk close, that we're talking about for this country right. is what if something happened here, not from radiation that's being exposed in Japan, because by all, all accounts, we are not in direct danger from that. And I, and I want to close this just by saying I know there is massive hysteria out there. We're bringing this to your attention because you've asked questions about it. You can't see radiation. It is a scary concept. But having said that, you would like to believe that this is a wake-up call for, here, for us here in this country and that we will put safeguards in place. But we just wanted you to be aware of this. Thank you so very much, Dr. Pagnini, for helping explain the dangers of radiation exposure.